What would you do if you did manage to free yourself? Attack me? Or go after the boy? And hope I didn't interfere. Oh, I'd definitely do you first. Dad. Yes, I wouldn't believe it either. Such an outlandish, not to mention sordid tale. I know my mother. You're not even close to her type. For starters, she likes her men sane and a lot less talky. Oh, she liked me well enough when she agreed to marry me. Okay, well, you have me. You have the ghoul. What's next? My butt's getting cold. Imagine spending every hour of every day, every penny of your fortune, trying to find someone, only to discover you are looking in the wrong bloody century. Imagine the frustration, the anger. As the search went on a fool's errand, I moved from decade to decade, holding on to the one hope that I would finally land in the right time and place. To find you, Ashley. My father is dead. Who told you that? I'm a good doctor. My God, her goal never ceases to amaze me. Who is she to play nursemaid to every deviant who's lost its way? Or more to the point, to decide that you should never know your own flesh and blood? Who is she to say? I'm her mother, that's who. got what you wanted. Indeed. A family at last. You played your cards very patiently. <laughs> well done. As if that could prevent this moment. Mom, please tell this guy there's a nice padded cell in his future. Quiet, Ashley. Be reasonable. How could I tell her the truth? How could you not? You murdered eight innocent women. <clears throat> no. Not yet. I'm still waiting for the it's a total lie part. the time nor the place. <laughs> Whatever you're going to do, don't. Actually, it's you who's going to do it all, Helen. What you've made of our daughter. A foul-mouthed, willful, violent child. But at the core, 
A meaty little girl. Just misses her dad. <laughs> and this. Your beloved creatures. The damned souls you so tirelessly try to save. It is all up to you, Helen. Make your choice! be afraid of you. But I'm not. Why? Because there's no such thing as monsters. actually exist. I was... I am scared of you. But I know it's just the idea of you. The concept. You see, I saw this movie when I was a kid. And I had an overactive imagination. And... Get better. Well, you used to live over in Baron County. Yeah, when I was a kid, East Hills. In 1123, 
Seneca Boulevard. Before I met the doctor, I, uh, I was angry. I enjoyed scaring people. Kids. I knew that movie was playing that night. And I'm sorry. It was you? I know it is late in coming, but no hard feelings. You're okay? I wasn't at my best back there. Well, considering the situation. Yeah, well, if you're thinking about working here, um, you should really see this. Will you stop filling with that thing? Let's just get this over with. Huh? Come on, make yourself useful or something, huh? Go get me a cream soda. What the heck was I talking about? this uh, means uh, she's dragged you into this whole little circus of hers, huh? Well, I was once young like you, a year out of medical school. 1932 or something. I was finishing night shift at the hospital. Uh, walking home and she came out of the shadows, this woman. She hands me this, uh, this business card. After that, I was just caught in a web. You know, we were studying the abnormals, and we got to be very close. We had a, a special bond, Ellen and I. She had ideas about things. He rambles a bit here. Yeah. I, I begged and I pleaded with her to stop. I didn't think I could take it anymore. You know, different things from the fridge. No, no. I've been given an opportunity to learn things. Things that no one else can ever know. And there will be risks. There will be sacrifices. At best, a chance of some light death, some maiming. Could be in the gods. But what is that in the face of knowing the truth? The truth about humankind. After watching Barney TV, can you blame me? Look, I just wanted to say thank you. It was a lot of fun. As traumatic as it was. You're turning down my offer? Yeah. I already have a job. At that zoo, they laughingly call a hospital. Cold-hearted bureaucrats and uneducated sloths. Hey, don't forget about the free jello. Ah. So why linger? Off you go. Is Alexi, uh... I've secured a place for him at a special school I know. He'll be fine. And what about Ashley? Some pretty heavy news about her dad. 
I will deal with my daughter, have no fear. Was there something else? Yeah. Yeah, it's you. And Drew it. Something about it still doesn't make sense to me. Pray tell. Barney, 1932. And the way you talk, those Sherlock Holmes expressions. I mean, who says pray tell? And Drew it was the same way. Proper use of the Queen's English is a lost art. No, no, no. Let's just forget about the very disturbing fact that you have a basement full of monsters and your butler shouldn't exist. Let's talk about you and this guy, okay? You claim that your first patient was Montague John Druitt, a man who also happens to be Scotland Yard's prime suspect in the Ripper killings in 1888. I told you he could bend dimensional space. Why not time as well? So he's the actual Ripper? Come on, you, you can't know that, not for sure. Indeed I can, Dr. Zimmerman. I was there. So you can travel through time, too? I cannot. But you said that Ashley was your flesh and blood, so... She is. I kept the embryo frozen for over a century, until I could bear the loneliness no longer. I brought it to term, believing John was gone for good. I underestimated his determination. How is any of this possible? When you treat beings with extraordinary powers, sometimes the rewards are, well, unexpected. So that means that you... I am 157 years old. <laughs> Aren't you leaving? Your gratuitous jello awaits. You know, I hoped that at least you would be normal. Sorry to disappoint. Can you promise me that I'm not gonna end up like Barney? I can't do that. But I can promise you the adventure of many, many lifetimes. Shall we begin? <laughs> <laughs>